Hi, my name is Kelvin Johnson. In this video, I'm going to show you how to deploy software or application using the Microsoft Intune Azure or Microsoft 365 Device Management. So, if you are, if you, if you want to deploy an MSC application, or MSC software, knowing the command switch to use may be very easy because you can find this on the internet, or there are different applications which can actually show you which command to use. But finding the command to use for um, XE file or XE application may be very very challenging because um, not um, or uh, you cannot deploy all XE files silently and even if you can do finding the right command to deploy this application may be very very difficult. So well, there are some uh, there's, a, there's a file called there's a software called the Universal Silent Switch Finder which can help you detect the um, silent uh, switch or the silent command to use for the installation. But first of all, uh, we need to convert the XE um, software to make it compatible with Microsoft Intune. If not, you will not be able to upload that file to Intune. So let's go to uh, my folder. There's a, an application called the Intune Win App Utility. You can download it from the internet. So with this file, we, we should be able to convert an XE file to be compatible with Intune Azure. So double click on the file. So it's going to say, please specify the source folder. So I'm just going to go to my team viewer 14 and just copy the source folder. Then go back to the file and just place it there Then click enter. So it's going to say, please specify the setup file. So the setup file is going to be the team viewer. I just copy everything and control C and then control V. Just type enter. So it's going to say, where do you want the output folder to be? So I'm going to place it on the same folder. Copy and paste. Just press enter. As you can see the file, the software has been converted. Here you have um, a new um, software. Here it uh, ends with Intune Win. So Intune Win. So which means now we should be able to upload this file, this software into Microsoft Intune Azure. Well, secondly, we need to find what is a silent um, installer we have to use to deploy this software if we need to deploy it silently to computers. If not, the users will receive, they will get a kind of a pop-up to start entering um, the admin um, password or start clicking next, 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 and that is not what we want. So let me just go to um, browse for a file. And here I'm going to go to software, team viewer and just select TeamViewer 14, click open. Here you see it gives me the silent installer I'm going to use to deploy this software. Well, mind you, this Universal Silent Switch Finder does not work for all um, XE um, application or software because I've tried it for several software. Sometimes it works and sometimes it does not work. So now here we have the usage, the silent switch we're going to use. So let's go to our um, Office 365 device management and click client apps. So go to overview and then apps. So to add a new app um, to um, to Office 365 device management, just click add. Here you're going to say, okay, what type of software do you do you want to um, upload to Intune? So you have to click and select Windows app Windows 32 if it's an XE. So click that. So here we're going to select the app package file. So mind you, without converting that file to be compatible with um, Intune, it's not going to work. So when I click, when I browse for the file, and I go to like um, my C drive, and go to my software, and here when I go to TVR 14, as you can see, I'm not seeing the exe file because the exe file is not compatible. I will not be able to upload the exe file. So I can just click on this and open. Here it's going to upload and just click OK. So now it will, when I click OK, as you see, the second um, option will be available. And if if I didn't, if I don't configure the third one with the configure, configure program will not be available. So let's configure the app uh, information. So well, it says it is a TeamViewer um, setup is uh, version 14. So description, I can just say well, it's a TeamViewer 
14. And who is the publisher? The publisher is TeamViewer. From what category is it? So you have to select a category. Well, I'm going to put this one as a business so business usage. So you still have some other information, information URL. I can decide to put like the team URL, um, URL here, but I'm not going to do that right now. And also the developer or who is the owner of the software. So you can also select logo if you want, but I'm not going to do that right now. Just um, click OK. And now let's configure the software. So this is actually very important because if you made a mistake here, you're going to receive error during the deployment. It's not going to work. So it is very, very important that you select the right command. So what I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to call it, select this command here and just put it, paste it here. So if I take off this, if, if I miss this and put a different switch command, it's not going to work. So for the uninstall, I'm going, also going to put use a silent command so well the installation behavior i will use for the system and it's not for the user because with the system is going to use this the system account to install the software and not the user account because the user may not have the right um, privilege to install software and the installation will fail so click ok and let's scroll down and here we we'll click requirement so for requirement i'm going to select it it can be for a 32 or 64 bit operating system and the minimum operating system, I will say, let's say one version 1703. So for this, we are not going to just, we're not going to configure this. I just click OK. And here we have the detection rules. So this is also very important because sometimes there are some computers which they already have um, TeamViewer installed. So how do you want um, Intune to detect if TeamViewer has already been installed on this computer so it doesn't start trying to install again a second time so i'm going to select one well i'm going to say okay you can use a custom detection script or you can use manually configure detection rules so click add here i say the rule type so you have three options an msl file or the registry so i'll choose for the file detect the file type so it's going to say where um is the part that the software is going to try to search and see if this file is already um, installed i'm just going to go to like it's going to be on the c drive on the program files and the file is going to be um team viewer xc so it's going to select which method well file or folder as it so it's going to search and see if this um, file or the folder part exist if it exists it's not going to try to install team viewer on that computer so just click yes okay click okay so we have the uh, return code and we can say okay well here we have a standard return code i can decide to modify the return code um, to any numbers that i want well i'm going to leave this one and i'm going to leave the default um, numbers the default um, number that has been uh, set up by intune I just click ok so the scope so for the scope tab we are not going to actually uh, do that right now just click add so as you can see um the software will be uh, uploaded to microsoft intune so your app is not ready yet check back again soon so what why did, did you get this message you, you, you received this message because in um, the software is being uploaded to microsoft intune so here you can see uploading team viewer setup to um, intune uh, well it's going to take some time and when the software is has been uploaded well because we're going to deploy this software to a group during the upload let me just switch back to my um, azure active directory here and try to create um, a group which of course when you try to deploy software you don't want to deploy the software maybe for example to all computers maybe you want to deploy to a specific computer or to a specific um, users so let's create a group and in that group we're going to add um, a computer and uh, the specific computer that needs that software to it so let's go to group and click new group here I'm going to select um, the group type is going to be a security type and um, the group name I'm just going to say it's a Windows 32 
with software is a software and I'm gonna say it's a uh, team team viewer um, version 14 so well I'm gonna give the group description is just going to be the same and for the member type it's going to be actually assigned so here I'm going to select um, a computer but I already have um, here a computer which is called the BEW009 strip OOB so because I will OOB this I did a test called um, out of the box well let me just go and search for this So let's scroll down and here we have the computer and click select and click create. So the group is being created right now. So it's going to take some time. So let me switch back to see if my file, if the file has been uploaded and I think it has been, well, up, upload of TeamViewer setup finished. Well, let me just refresh. When I refresh here, you can see the TeamViewer set of file has been uploaded and at this um, the software has not been assigned yet so because while I did it um, this same test before just to make sure that it works very well before I did a video for everyone to learn from my experience also so well uh, let me see if the group has, group has been created I'm just click refresh And yes the um, group has been created and we can see let's see who is a member of that group and of course we have just one computer so let me switch back to my client apps and try to um, deploy this software to a specific group so let's go to assignment and we say um, assignment right now we don't have any um, group that we are going to deploy this app to so click add group so we're going to say it's going we're going to require required this that well required means that well, we have different options here we have available for enrolled device uninstall required so if you want to uninstall the software if you want to make this available for all device which got enrolled into microsoft into azure or you want, want to make it required because i'm going to uh, deploy it to a specific group so let's include a group so you also have the option to all, all users and device make this app required for all users or make this app required for all devices well for me it's no so I'm just going to select a group let's select the group we've created and that group is Swain32 software I think this is called TV and then click select and then click well you also have the kind of end user notification so here is a show all those notifications so the there's going to kind of be a there was going to be a notification to the user that the software um your administrator has has pushed a software and the software is going to start downloading so the user will see actually a notification that the software has been downloaded but you can as well hide all not, uh, those notification so the user will not see anything all the user will just see that the software has been installed on his computer well i'm going to leave it on the first one so that the user can see that the software has been installed so click ok and here just click you also have the option to actually exclude a group if for example you want to deploy this um, software to a specific group and you don't want one other group to um, receive the software you just exclude that group from this from here so click ok and then save this Let's save this so assignment saved successfully so what i'm going to actually do to force this installation to apply to the computer i'm going to go to devices i'm going to go to all device so here we have um, the computer which i just include in the group i created before so let me click on that click on that group and here i can sync let me just click a sync to actually force into an attempt to check in with this device if successfully it will sync correct action and policies to this device so that's what i want so let's try and sync it so what's going to happen it's going to take some some time actually for the software to be downloaded to the computer because um you know um it's about 21 uh, megabytes so let's switch back to that computer and let me show you the, um when the software has been downloaded and installed so let's switch back to the computer 
here we have the computer so to also make it faster you can i can as well go to start let me click on the settings here you have account settings and here you have access work let me just click this I have info and I can as well you can see it has been synced on 1920 well of course because I pushed the sync from Intune it was already uh, the sync has already been sent to this computer well let's just force it again so again once more so that the sync it will sync again so I'm going to pause. I'm going to pause this um, video I'm doing right now. So when this notification um, up, um, applies, or then when there's a notification on the computer, I'm going to come back and show you that the software is being installed through Microsoft Intune Azure. So let's actually go back to the um, computer where I deployed um, the software. So here is the uh, computer. Let me just show you the computer by showing you the host name of the computer if i type host name and here you can see that is a computer where we deployed the software using intune so if i close the command prompt and i go to a notification here you can see that um, your it department requires changes to software on your computer and what happens is this so when i when the software is, is deployed because of the notification, so I decided to say, okay, show notification. Here, the user is going to see, see a notification that the software has been deployed to this computer. So I'm just going to cancel this. And automatically, you see that the software already has been installed silently without um, any prompt or, if, or any um, notification for the user to click or accept any user's uh, terms, of, terms and conditions or privacy uh, policy. So if I go to under um, applications and just refresh this, here we're going to see uh, TeamViewer 14. Here we see TeamViewer 14 has been installed. So right now, if I go to check the time which this soft the, the day which TeamViewer was installed, here you see that TeamViewer was installed today, which is actually the 9th of May. So when I close the programs on future and I open TeamViewer just to show you that it works. So it's going to open. Um, well, here you can see that TeamViewer has been installed on this computer and it's open. So I can decided to just change um, the password. So if you think maybe you have the password of the TeamViewer installed, this is actually just for a test. So you will not be able to connect to this computer using this password because I have the opportunity to change the password. So, well, that is how you install um, application using um, the Microsoft Intune Azure. So let's go back to Microsoft Intune Azure. And here uh, we've installed the application and maybe we can actually see that the application has been installed or it's been installed because it's going to take some time to refresh back to Microsoft Intune Azure. So, well, um, installing an MSI um, software through um, Intune or through uh, Microsoft Intune Azure is more easy compared to installing XA. So, well, I just I hope this video has been a very great help to you. And please, if you think you've learned something from this video, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel to receive um, some IT related uh, video and try to leave a comment if you have any question. And if you think you need any assistance, if, for example, you work for a company or you own the company and you think you need any assistance concerning Microsoft Intune Azure or Office 365. Um, management you can always send me an email i will reply to you as quick as possible well um i've been working in in the it field for more than eight years um and also i do, i actually focus mostly on client um, infrastructure so i uh, work a lot with sscm microsoft intune azure office 365 um, device management um of course i work a lot with active directory and much more so if you have any question please don't forget to send me an email and i will reply to you as quick as possible thank you very much and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and i will see you very soon goodbye